Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong and Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak have welcomed both countries' steady progress on joint iconic projects in Singapore and the Iskandar region, as well as in other areas of cooperation. Both leaders also reviewed the progress on improving connectivity between Singapore and Malaysia, including the proposed high-speed rail and a rapid transit system link. The announcements were made following the fifth Malaysia-Singapore leaders' retreat in Kuala Lumpur today. The high-speed rail slated to be completed by 2020 will facilitate seamless travel between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore, enhance business linkages and bring both countries closer together. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong revealed that Tuas West and Jurong East were just some of the likely locations where the station will be located. Meanwhile, Malaysia has said that its station will be located in Sungai Bersi. But Mr Lee said there is still much to be settled, such as its design, financing as well as security and immigration requirements. This will require hard work on both sides. The leaders also noted work done on the first phase of the joint engineering study for the rapid transit system link between Singapore and Johor Bahru. At the press conference following the leaders' meeting, Prime Minister Najib said that he had also proposed a friendship bridge between the two countries. Another initiative which is, uh, I'd like to stress is a long-term initiative uh, looking at the road uh, links between uh, Malaysia and Singapore. Uh, a proposal to have a friendship bridge uh, that will uh, certainly enhance uh, road connectivity improve the environment uh, and uh, as well as uh, uh, create um, a much stronger links between our two countries and a symbol of the growing uh, friendship. In response, Mr Lee agreed that Singapore will need to widen the links across the Straits of Johor and has been studying this for the long term. And to provide greater convenience for commuters, Mr Lee said the customs and immigration quarantine complex will most probably be co-located for the rail transit system link and the high-speed rail. Both leaders also noted the progress in Iskandar, Malaysia and commended the work of the Malaysia-Singapore Joint Ministerial Committee for Iskandar, Malaysia. Iskandar, Malaysia is a strategic play to, to rise, to raise Malaysia above the global competition and to help Singapore also to maintain our economic competitiveness by integrating our two economies and complementing one another. And we agreed that it's important to develop the Iskandar Malaysia project comprehensively, not just in services, not just in residential properties, although these are important, but also in manufacturing, in industries, in order to create jobs to attract investments. Mr Lee added that as Iskandar thrives, having a skilled labour force is also crucial. As such, both leaders welcome ongoing discussions between the various agencies for both countries for collaboration in vocational training. They also acknowledge that the transboundary haze pollution is a recurring problem for the region and have reaffirmed their commitment to take decisive actions to solve the problem. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong also expressed his deepest sympathies over the loss of missing Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 and said that Singapore stands ready to help Malaysia in the next phase of investigations. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Najib Razak said he also appreciated Singapore's prompt assistance in the search and rescue operations. Both leaders have agreed to hold the next retreat in 2015 in Singapore and looked forward to the state visit by the Agong to Singapore later in April. Vamita Mohandas, Channel News Asia, Putrajaya.